welcome and or welcome back everyone. I'm a rough pebble and today we're going to be spending some more time with some songs of six. This is the military and combat update. So first thing we want to do is maybe set up some roads so that we have um, a little bit of walking around here, a little bit quicker walking around. So we'll, we'll set up a little plaza here and then I'll just set up a two by two road to go like let's say here. We can just have a couple offshoots here like that. Alright, we're not dealing with that for longer than we have to. Um, let's see, and then let's start building a, a farm. Or a fishery. Maybe a fishery is a good idea. What does the fertility look like over here? Is good here. And it's pretty bad up here. Alright, maybe we make a... First thing we'll do is make an onks pasture. I think it's gonna just be like here, here, something like this. <clears throat> All right, how far will you let me go? want a big old pasture out here. 25, okay. It's actually pretty good over here, though. I think if anywhere, we just push it out to this side. There we go. I think 25 is the largest. Is there or livestock that we can handle, yes. <clears throat> okay. That seems fair. Let's put in a gate. I'll put the gate down here. We need 225 wood for that. Then we'll have a farm out this way. Do a little dirt road out here. Let's do that right there. They'll build out a little bit of this plaza here. Let's think about what else we need. We could also use a hearth, absolutely. Um, this is a five by seven. Put it here. Just about fit it right here. Let's put it right there. <laughs> and we'll just put the road around it like this. Alright, so that's coming along. The dormitories are being used. We only have a 10% load there. A 57.4 load for the eatery. And we are 100% workload here. We can maybe add a few more folks into here. We'll do like 10 for now. 
Let's see, how is this going? We have one employee here working on this road. And then four hunters, which is producing a fair amount of food for us. We can also store a little bit more of this fruit in here. We don't need to limit ourselves in such a, such a way. We've got plenty of crates here. So we can employ... So basically what I'm doing here is I'm assigning a certain number of crates. Um, so each one of these, each time I tick, it's one crate, right? So I, I don't know how many crates we have here. Eight, what is that? 8%? So 8 crates. Um... These are what, 4%, so 4 crates of each of these. Each of these has 2 crates, I think it's like 255 is what each crate holds. Um, so we can allocate and sort of create whatever storage systems we want, um, but the storage yard is going to hold everything. Alright, let's go ahead and name this the, the Sleepy Nook. Is that an inn? That's a, that's a sleepy yook inn. People can sleep there. And this is the, uh... The... Sloppy... The sloppy counter. We'll call this place the... Fixers. Fix it. The fix it folk. Drone. <laughs> That's fine. The great pebble. Hunter's Lodge. We'll call this Yeah. Yeah. Hungry Wolf Lodge. And we'll get this, uh, we'll get this pasture up here in just a little bit. So now we've got a couple named places. Hole. We'll just call that place Hole. Go ahead and speed up time just a little bit. Oops. There we go. Um, we are going to continue to harvest all this food here. How much wood do we have? Plenty of wood to deal with this. And then let's start thinking about a fishery. Agriculture, fishery, yes. Okay, so it's very good in here. Huh. Okay. So we're not getting anything out of this. We're not getting anything out of this here. We don't want to use up land that we don't need to. Alright. <clears throat> Go after these. Nothing out of that, eh? Can I still use the old trick of turning this into a fishery? For now, this will do. We don't need all of this, I think. There we go. 
we route all of this, they're probably just working on this pasture over here, so there's no real rush to to get in here and finish this thing, this project. Now we can definitely grab some of these on this side. This is all good too. And we'll have a small connection here in the middle where we're gonna have the um, tools and, and all that stuff. Or, and the storage yard for this. Okay. How many workers here? 17 fish, 79%? I thought blue was good. Okay. No, it's better if we do have this. I mean, that's, that's fine. Let's put in the storage. Let's just do it here. And then we'll do some auxiliary over here on this side. Construct. Now let's go ahead and get that thing going. Okay, so we'll have a little fishing lodge up here, a hunting lodge, and a pasture. And we'll start thinking about where we want our farms and stuff. And I think that'll be mostly up, up along here. We can have more pastures down here later. got a lot of wood. We can pretty easily just haul that and put that in here. They're coming to work on the fishing lodge. That's fine, too. We'll speed things up. Just let them run around and go do that. And we're gonna try to, to speed run some some, uh, some military units here. Um, speaking of, let's go ahead and actually slow this down. Let's take a look at our army. Um, what is this? Oh, these are icons that we can give each one of them. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Okay, so yes, we want... Uh, whoops. Okay. We want... 50. Is there a way to do, like, mixed... Mixed battalions? Let's see, you are, you have, who has the good armor? Oh, you have the good armor. Slightly better offense and defense skills. What does the humans look like? All uh, right, not, not super great, but we'll get a, we'll get a battalion out there. Melee training, train it up. Armor, bow, weapon, arrow, quiver. Okay. Let's start thinking about a little training yard here. Hmm. For this, we'll probably do that. Let's maybe start digging out some stuff in here. Or at least maybe getting this mine together over here. Cadaver. I don't think we've had any more 
murders since that first day. But let's go ahead and clear some rocks out here. I want to clear all this out, and then we'll start mining out uh, the iron and the coal. There is, there's both my iron and coal here, right? No, 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 it's all just ore. But the coal is down here, okay. And over here. Alright, let's get that cleared out then. Alright, and that's... No. Okay, that's almost done. Yes, finish it up. Oh, it just belongs. I need 20 wood in there. Okay, there you go. There we go. Insufficient workers allocated. I don't think we... I think we only need, like, 18 in here. We'll put it on 18. Actually, I don't even think we need that right off the bat. We'll do, like, 12 for now. How many sheep do they have? Or the onks do they have? Alright, we'll put in 18. That's fine. They seem to be getting a fair amount of the, uh... The animals in here pretty early on. Okay, there we go. About filled it about halfway, so that's pretty good. About halfway, fantastic. And our fishery is done. Yeah, get all the folks that we can out there, that's for sure. Alright, we have 12 spare workers now. So they're gonna be out here. They've cleared out all of this now, okay. Uh, so efficient. Uh, let's get another Cantor to join us. We'll let one more of each race in. Okay. Let's get mines going. So an ore mine. Um, yes, we want the deposits here. Now... Alright, if I cancel this. It says this is an ore deposit. This is also an ore deposit. 7%, 11%. Is it just wherever this black is and that's the ore deposits? Must be. Okay. Okay, so that's good to know. Let's go ahead and pull out that mine again. Oops. Or mine. Alright, we'll just do something like this. And I learned something new about how mines work. So the way that mines work is that there's a high and a low. And so for each, so the first worker that you put in is going to operate at around 23%. That last worker is going to operate around 7. So that's just the, uh, the, the differences there. That's, that's what that means. That's how to interpret this, this data. Alright, let's go ahead and put in one of these. Storage. I'd rather go this way, actually. Storage. Oop. And then we can do <coughs> some auxiliary down here. Hundred percent efficiency. Okay. Let's get that going. That'll be the start of this mine down here. And then I want to start digging into here as well. And we'll probably build a small storehouse here. Or maybe we'll build one in here.
All right, and the other thing that's really important to know is how to use this tool right here. So you can use these various tools, right? So I can just do, this is a circle, but it only seems to be popping up as a, as a square. So why is that? Because I only have it set to one. When it's set to two, it goes to two, three, four, five, radius, six radius, seven radius, eight radius, right? So that's how that works. We can also do roads, so we can make, I can just click and drag a road here, and it's gonna do the same principle. It's gonna increase and decrease with the cool tip here. So a really neat trick that you can, or, or just tools that you can use. So we're, what we're gonna do is build a stone road down here. Why is it doing this, though? We've got a little stone road up and down here. We are not producing any meat yet. We are producing 44 fish. We'll slowly be hauled down here. We could maybe get another warehouse up here for the food. That might be a good idea. And start diversifying our warehouses a little bit. And we can still have food and stuff be stored in here, but not be the primary place for it. What do we have here? What is all this? Oh, just wheat. Wild grain fields growing. We have 17 population right now that is not really employed. They're currently employed on building out these roads, though, so we'll let them do that. The next thing I want to focus on is a library. Um, to get a library, though, we need to have we need to have some wood production. So I think If we were to have walls, what do what do walls look like? Fence, stone fence, wood fence, fortifications, a grand wall. Okay, but maybe if I scroll over it, maybe we can get a little bit more information. Build grand wall. Okay. Um, hold off enemies can also be used as a regular wall. Stone wall, okay. Hold off enemies, okay. Okay. I would be okay with you being outside the walls. Maybe the mine can be inside. We'll probably build up from here. Let's, let's start a little bit of a wall over here. Alright, so we're starting the wall up this way. 
and we'll try to go up along here. With all of these fields and everything on the outskirts of the wall. And then if people need to come inside, they can. So that'll be sort of this initial wall area, and then we can dig into here, and we can have other walled areas up here if we really need to. Curious how these walls work, so let's go ahead and just get that set up here. Speed that up. Build me a wall. Okay, nice. Look at that wall. Stairs. How does this work? We can go up there now. Okay. Let them try to come. Okay. And what all are we missing? Ah, the iron. Okay, so first things then. We need to get a logistics. We need some export depots. We'll put an export depot here and an export depot here. This can be an import depot here. Put another export, export. We'll do four small exports and two medium sized imports. Honestly, we could probably do two small sized. It works, but that's okay. We'll do them medium. Uh, logistics, imports, medium, or slightly medium. They're not really medium. We'll do a couple of those here. So this will be our sort of main trade hub and honestly we don't really even need this right now so just get rid of that we'll do these these three and then depending on what else we need we can sort of adjust and we've got our nice hearth up here 19 percent load We need more fish. Can I make refine? Oh, I can't make paper. So maybe I have to have because we can make a library already. Not needed, only boosts knowledge production. Okay, so let's at least just get the library off the ground here. Okay. This library can actually be, like, here. Or even just, like, over here would be okay. Oops. Alright, so first I need to set this to be... This is fine here. Alright, let's get a scribe station. Get a couple scribe stations in there like that. We'll put in some walls. 
to help keep the structure up. So when it's yellow, it just is going to cost you more resources. It doesn't mean that you can't build it, it just costs a lot more resources to build. So you can see here, right now, because we have a little bit of yellow, it's going to be 25% more expensive. Um, so all of our costs go up here. Um, we'll be able to fix that here in just a little bit. Um, let's see, what do we want to do here? We'll do... Something like that, maybe? Or we just keep going like this. Though I don't really like this. I want to build some shelves here, like this. And then we can do maybe a, a little wall here. And get some scribe stations in there, like this. And we'll do a banded little area here, like this, maybe. Band this a little. tight in here. And then we'll do maybe one out here like this. further down here like this. Yeah, that means it's good. Alright, let's go ahead and prop these up like this. Get a few more of you in here. And then we'll do some... Can't really do another scribe station in here, so we'll do some shelves. set of scribe stations that would be nice if we can put a shelf going the other way here like that we've got 70% efficiency we need to get some carpets in here some carpets in there like this 74% efficiency there we go we'll get some carpet okay so we're gonna need we're gonna need cloth for this Five, so there we go. Ninety-six. be built. Make it out of stone. We've got plenty of stone. We need fabric. And furniture. 
Ah, we need doors. Aha, of course. Yes, we'll put in doors here. Okay, construct it. That will be a nice large library for us one day. For now, we need to get a furniture maker. We can have a woodcutter out here somewhere at some point. We'll have the uh, woodcutter in here. Let's have you dig into the mountain. Let's stay here even. We'll just do it right here. So the woodcutter. We do another warehouse here. We can have a small warehouse associated with it over here that'll have like wood and and other things and we can have a couple workers in there. I think that seems like a fair idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Clear are all the rocks. There we go. Okay. And with that, I'm going to end this episode. So we have started uh, to make a lot of progress here. We have a stable source of food now. We have 91 animals in here, some onks that are being tended. Um, we also have 16 fishermen out here that are bringing in fish for our population. So we can get another canthor, which means I'm happy to bring in one of everybody so you can right click on the portraits here and to bring up the um the race and population sort of management screens and i'm only gonna let one in there are aspiring two i only want one we can just click on you again aspiring one and aspiring one for you okay so we got three of everybody now awesome Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe. We'll catch up in the next episode and uh, keep our populations growing here. See you soon.